Johnny Alvarientos. With his quickness and court savvy, the Flying A led Alaska to a Grand Slam in 1996. The same year, he became the shortest player in PBA history to win the MVP award, underscoring his stature as one of the most popular sportsmen of his time. Siguro, for some reason, pinavor ako ni Lord na mapulso ko yung, ano ko, yung pagiging basketball player ko dahil sobrang passionate ako talaga maglaro. Pag wala akong basketball, hindi kompleto yung buhay ko eh. Siguro nung time na yun, yun yung era nung, ano eh, nung Alaska eh. Medyo mainit yung Alaska. Kunyari, we have a game at night. Tapos, especially, nanalo kayo. Pag nag-mall ka the next day, medyo, uy, napanood ko to last night. Galing na laro nito. Yung mga ganun, memorable sa amin. No? Kasi nung time namin, ah, parang sobrang taas ng hype ng PBA. Eh. Parang ano eh, pumapantay nga kami sa mga sikat na artista nung time na yun. Eh. Ito pa isa, mahirap na tira. <laughs> And from the big league, Abariantos jumped to the big screen, starring in the 1997 comedy, Go Johnny Go, where he showcased both his acting and dancing skills. Parang wow, sabi ko. Totoo ba to na bibigyan ako ng chance? Hindi ko na-expect, no? Although, maganda naman yung, ano, maganda yung script. Parang light lang siya. Wala namang heavy drama. More on action comedy. So, feeling ko kaya kong dalin. But after a short stint in entertainment, the Flying A returned to his first love, leading Alaska to two more championships in 1998 before joining the PBA Centennial team, which won the bronze medal in the Bangkok Asian Games. In fact, Abariantos almost got the chance to play in the NBA. Meron talaga nag-offer yung Charlotte Hornets team. No? Dalawang beses kasi ako inoperan. Yung una, training camp for Charlotte. Tapos yung second na offer nila sa akin, 10-day contract naman. Which is diretso na sa NBA yun. Siguro nung time kasi na inoper sa akin yun, parang yun yung time na part ng Charlotte Hornets is binibenta. Then nung bumalik na sila sa akin, nawala yung interest nila kasi part of the Charlotte Hornets, ano na eh, sold na. Nabenta na. So yung interest nila uling kumuha ng Asian player, parang na napunta sa mga Europeans.